So my friends, it's back with more satisfactory. Ha ha ha! There she be! Oh. Really? Really? <laughs> what, what kind of timing is- We just lost power. That's fantastic. Oh man, we're gonna make a satisfying, um, probably steel manufacturing today since that's really what I want. I'm gonna tell you what I want, what I really, really want. But I guess we have to start with power first. That sucks, because power's a long way away. Might as well take the jetpack over. Woohoo! Hello, whoop! Don't miss, don't hit that. I got it, I got it. So maybe it'd be a good idea if we just kill off the uh, coal system over here. Uh oh, don't land me in that, please. Thank you. Oh, that was beautiful. What a beautiful landing. So I want to kill off that, uh, and I want to add more of those, um, the fuel generators. Not the geothermal. I wish we could, but I guess we could. Don't hit me. Ow! That hurt. I actually have, wow. How did I, I actually have, hey, look at this. I pre-planned it and I forgot I pre-planned it. Yeah, I've got everything on me. I can build two fuel generators. Look at, look at me. Wow, I'm so smart sometimes. So yeah, no joke. I, I totally forgot that I pre-planned that. <laughs> I had everything in, in my inventory. I was thinking, oh great. Now I'm gonna have to go farm up resources again. But nope, nope, I did the smart thing. Ow, I'm gonna treat for once. So, fuel generator. Let's, man, these things are big. I forgot how big they were. Yeah, we gotta get the any part of the front. We gotta line it up properly, just like so. Over to the side. Bingo, bingo. Alaka, <coughs> hairball. Alaka zab. Now the only problem here, it's not gonna be symmetric, but I think that's okay. Should I just do, well I have both of these. Hmm, which one is this? This is uh, just a regular conveyor belt? How gross. We have better things than that. I know we don't need it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Mark four. And then we're gonna put a splitter in here, just to like so. I don't want a splitter, I want a merger. Haha, <laughs> you, I, I, was, I was doing that to see if you were noticing. I'm kidding, I was just being dumb. Okay, level eight, in we go, boop, and boop. Got it, and boop, and boop, nailed it. Now they're merged, encroaching on another's clearance. Oh, fine. And now's the time for splitters. Okay, we got it in here. Perfect. And then we connect all the diggle me bobs. I don't think that connected right. Why did you mess up like that, you dork? And in we go, whoop, and what'd you, what are you doing? Is that, wait, what? Why did I mess that up? Oh, cause I forgot to turn it. Is it, are they all gonna be that way? Yeah, of course. Oh, that looks bad though, I don't like that. There, that's better. That's better, beautiful. Get in there, then we'll connect you to here, and we'll connect you back up to there. Yes, it's working. It will be in a second, as soon as I hook up these other things. Can I hook it up, that's the question. Two of four, yeah, it will work. I know I can make the, the bigger power lines, but that should be good enough for now. We'll just see, I think this can fuel eight. Come on, oh yes, power is online. We made it, we're up to 1650. Now that might have been overkill, because I don't think that these things can produce enough um, to fill up the fill up the sidewalk thing, whatever this is called, conveyor belt. I mean, I could overclock it, but I'm pretty sure that I'm still making enough. Hey, <laughs> look, it's a little roller coaster. Wee. Oh yeah, that one's already full. I guess the first two should be full, right? That would make sense. Oh yeah, we got 65 in here. This will back up in no time. A lot of people will tell me to put like a storage thing in the middle, like I should put a storage facility there. It doesn't really matter too much because we're still producing more fuel than we can use. So storage in this game is good if you're just gonna pick things up and do it by hand. Other than that, uh, supply, as long as the supply is better than the demand, you're fine. I, it's the way I look at it. So the next thing I can do is turn this off. How do you turn it off? There's no way to turn this off. I guess we could one way. This way, right here. Pew. <laughs> no more tractor driving. Maybe I should turn the tractor off too. Oh, I wonder if I'm gonna need these. Stand by. I hope not. So I've turned off all the coal generation, and I think I'm still gonna need more. Or I can overclock those other ones. Oh yeah, it's peaking right there. Ah. Well, I'm gonna overclock them. Ah, yep. Just ran out of power. Ugh. So I did overclock these, right? Yeah, the first three or two are overclocked. I'll just overclock this one because I don't have any additional power cells right now. Like so, activate, power back on. That should make us another 150. Ah, 
If I jump started enough, <laughs> it might might get there. Oh man. Okay, so I need to overclock the other one too. So what's next? I guess that's what I should have planned out beforehand. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So we got a lot of these things up top. Those are all making the uh what's it called? The ingots. The steel ingots. Why do I have a comparable? Because I'm standing on one. Uh they're making the steel ingots up top. What I wanted to do is I wanted to bring them up in the ceiling over to another side of the factory. Now, I don't know how far I want to bring them or by what means, so I think we should do that now. I'm also hoping by shutting off that coal supply um, that it's going to increase over here. I guess that thing is filling up, isn't it? Yeah, once the, once the suppliers fill up, once everything fills up there, this should fill up. Yeah, it's getting a lot more coal, so those are being powered fully by now. What I need to do next is I need to connect all of these somehow up here to like another window. Or what we could do is we can merge them. By my math, we make 30 steel ingots per minute. Or do we make 60 per minute? Two ingots for that, probably 30 per minute. Yeah, because that's the number. I believe I have eight. So I have eight times 30, that's 240, which means I can merge them all together and have one big pipe going. It doesn't look nearly as cool though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna merge two together somewhere in the middle. If I can do that right. Oh, that looks good. That looks real good. And then we'll move you into here, move you into here. And I'll take a wall conveyor up top and I'll click on you there and bring you up. It's too steep. I need to move my merger back. That's annoying. It's so hard to get it in a spot while floating in space. Ah, I got it, yes! Oh man, that was actually pretty good. Okay, connect you. Oh, it's ugly, that's okay. And then, nope. Okay, go up and, really? Really? Why do you do this to me, game? So let's try this. We'll go up a layer and, really? Still too steep? I bet this would work though, wouldn't it? No, that works? Yeah, that worked. Can I get it to go anywhere here? No, oh I can at the last spot. I really don't wanna go that far back, but I'll try it. Okay, does this work now, please? No. <laughs> <sighs> See what I go through? This is why I didn't wanna record all of the last video in one sitting. So how about if I stand on the wall? Too steep still. Hmm. Well, I can see why it's too steep. Why are you doing that? How about this one? Oh, that worked. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, there we go. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Then what I can do is I can just delete this one and the splitter or the merger is just gonna sit there. Beautiful, I like that. And I'll be able to drive that all the way across through the ceiling to the other side. I'll let you in on a little secret. When you're uh, removing your scaffolding, never never delete the one that you're standing on <laughs> because it's a long way down into the void. Uh, yeah, it's a long way. And it doesn't feel good when you lose everything that you have on you. I'm not talking from experience at all, definitely not. But I know that would not be a good idea if you were to do that. And then you run out of, you run out of steel things. Ah, it's annoying. Hey, what are you doing there? I like that, this looks a lot better back here. I like how it looks nice clean factory with everything going up, everything feeding through beautifully. I like it. I like it a lot. I do need a door in there though, because going up and over every time, yeah, that's not the most fun thing in the world. All right, so now the question is, how far can a conveyor belt go? I need to know that so I can plan. I need to just drive that way. Okay, so let's plan it on the ground. So if I start it right at the end there, and I take it and I go We get to a magical point where it says floor is too steep. What? That doesn't make sense. I think it's right there. It should be right there, but it can't be built right on the edge, maybe? I wonder. Let's just try it. And Topanga, we did it. Okay, so that goes that way nicely. Now we count up how many squares. <laughs> Are you ready for another episode of Counting with Blitz? I hope so. Putting my first grade education to use. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, ah, ah. I did. Okay, it's six wide. That's how far we can run that thing without a stopper. So that's uh, six wide. 
<laughs> it's not very big. We need a we need a intermission here. I think we need to put something in the middle. Uh, maybe we'll do it at this point so it's totally even. Now I did want to know something. Can we put brackets on a walkway? What are they called? Not foundations. What? Where are they? Non organization? Oh yeah, here walkway crossing. Can I, if I, what are you? Why? Oh, up top. Okay. Yeah, walkway crossing. Can I put a dingy bob one of those things right here? Mm, no, you can't. Ah, oh, that's too bad. So if we do our math, we have one, two, three, four, five, right? Okay, so this is the six. So we need one, two, three, four, and five. Just want to make sure that this works. Put you all the way into there. Now, I can do what I want to do, because they're not my real mom, and I can just delete that thing. And it still looks like it's connected all the way across. I love it. Maybe I should have thought about how long it takes to delete these things after I built them. Or before I built them, instead of after I built them. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. So that's about how big the factory would be inside. I like that size. I think that's a good size. I really do. I think that'll work nicely for us. Also, I had to clear a little gap in the wall, um, so we didn't hit our head when we launched. Now, you have to remember that this is only for iron and steel right now. What? What's going on with these? Why are you different? I don't like different. No! Why are you different on me? What? So I switched those. What in the what? Why is it a, oh, what? I'm so confused. Hey, <laughs> excuse me? Am I, am I hallucinating or something? Like what's going on here? Okay, I'm gonna do one this way and then I'll flip it that way. Okay, now is there a difference? Oh, there is. There is, this one has eyeballs. So if you're playing this game with your friends and you want to mess them up, yeah, just uh, make sure that you mess up one of their eyeballs. Oh, wow. This is annoying. I don't understand. I'm not doing it on purpose, but they're switching. Eyeballs? No eyeballs. Eyeballs? Eyeballs? Eyeballs. That's... I don't... What? Why are they alternating? Here I am supposed to be building a really cool steel refinery and I just end up playing with eyeballs on walls. I still messed it up. There, all better now. And then the, you up here. I can't tell, that one. Yes, <laughs> it's a 50-50 guess. Okay, you know what? I'm done thinking about that. If something's messed up, I'm, I don't care. I really, I don't care. And then I run out of concrete, fantastic. Oh, can I even fly up here? Oh, that can hurt. Uh-oh, uh-oh, ah! Okay, that wasn't so bad run out of conveyor belts halfway through this too. So much fun today. Okay, hopefully this doesn't go bad. Hopefully, oh, it went bad. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be low. Probably be easier if I were to move this, but that's too much work right now. So if I look in here, there's only two things that can be made with steel, and it's the beams and the ingots, right? I don't think anything else requires the ore. So we're gonna have two of these factories, or two of those lines that are up top making beams, and one, ooh, you know what? Hmm. The pipe is a one to one, and that's a two to one. Maybe I should do three on the beams, and then one on the pipes. Does that make sense? Or I could combine them all once they're over here, and split them off so I do equal. That's too much work. So what I'm gonna do, just to make it look symmetric, is I'm gonna attach all these bad boys together. And I don't have all of them made yet, but I just wanted to see how this looked. Ooh. Okay, that'll go, that'll go. Okay, cool, so we have the constructors here. These will be making uh, steel beams. Okay, those two are making steel beams. They'll go into the storage, because I know I'll put in a little buffer in case I want some. And I do have another one available, so I don't know if I can actually build one. Let's try. Ooh, I can make a smart splitter. Splits conveyor belts in three. You can set a rule. So I can switch, if I wanted to switch production to one, I can move it to another one. That would be cool. I'm not gonna do that though. I need a merger. So the only problem now is not quite symmetric because I would need a, another one here. You know what? We can just put in a fake one. That'd look fine. There, that's better. Now I have a splitter here 
It splits both ways, so it's 50-50. And then we'll have two equal storage things, or should be, that'll go out the back. So I'm gonna get all this set up, and I guess I'll cut back with you guys in like maybe an hour or so of my time. I'm gonna watch some some hunting videos right now on on the internet because that'll be fun. Okay, so maybe my math and magician skills were a little bit off, and I've had to increase the foundry production. Foundry? No, these are the foundries. What are these things called? Constructors. Ha! <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. Get up, get up there. Okay, see now look. The, uh, the foundry makes 30 steel ingots per minute. I have eight of them. That's four, three, and wait. It's late at night. 240. That's the word I'm looking for. And then uh, we go to this side, and these things take 30 per minute as well. Watch this. Whoop. I made it up. See? Uh, it takes 30 steel per minute to make 10 or one steel beam per, per second. Wait. 30 per minute, 10 per minute. Okay, so 30 to 30, right? That makes sense. If I can do 30 to 30, that's awesome. I've got two of these making the these things, which is 15 per minute. We go through 15 steel per minute. Now, that's half as much steel as the other side. So I could double these. I'm thinking I'm going to double the output of these using the, the power slugs, but I don't have any on me right now. I've kind of gone. I'm, I'm running out of power slugs. I've been overclocking my power production. Uh, so yeah, we've got a little bit of excess steel ingots coming in and I really like the way this looks I'm gonna put in some assemblers down below here. They take lots of stuff See look look at all they take and I don't I might be able to have enough. Hey, I might actually have enough to make the assemblers I do know one thing that these assemblers are big <laughs> They they don't and they're also wrong size like you want them to stay in between like one block, but they're just just a little bit check this out It's just a little bit too wide to see that big white square. It's just too wide So I've been gapping them a little bit in between each one and I'll probably use those for storage like I did up top The hardest part is trying to get them lined up right oh right there. Okay, I think that's centered so that looks really, really cool. I like how it looks with those bridges across the top. I'm glad I did that. We're gonna have um, lots of walkways into. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these two, and we're gonna have a downward area come out. So we have a lots of or lots of iron going down. We'll have whatever these things are going down. I put them in backwards. I'm such a derp a derp. Green side out. That's better. There we go. There we go. Green side out. Hopefully they're all centered now. And uh, we'll bring those down into the middle. And then we'll have three wide in here. I'll probably remove them and put in some sort of uh, walkway. These things. The flooring foundations. I think I'll do that. You're probably wondering too. You're probably wondering on the back side how I managed to get all of it to work together. So what I did was I brought all four of those together. I, I maybe I could have done it on the other side, but I just like the way that these looked so I brought all four of them together into the conveyors and it should hold enough I've got it wiggling down here on some poles and those connect to splitters that go all the way across and then the output Brings it down into here, which is cool because we need to go down one more layer to connect into the uh, assemblers What I like about the assemblers is it's too wide and that's why I made it merge onto a wall is because if I just put a double wide wall wall conveyor in here it lines up perfectly see how that is and then I can just walk up and be like hey buddy how are you and then he's like oh I'm good thanks for asking and then everything works together perfectly now you may be wondering what I'm gonna use all of these assemblers for and the true answer is I I really have no idea what I'm gonna use them all for I do know that I just wanted them because it's symmetric and it looks nice, so that's kind of what I did. Uh, I do know that the other thing is, if we're going to use, um, if we're going to use steel, we can only use the encased and structural beams or the stators because those make the the pipes, and nothing else uses steel. So I guess the majority of it's going to be encased and structural beams, and then we could maybe use some of this on the other side. But I'm going to have to go get concrete for that. Let's see, where's the nearest concrete? Limestone there should be some close. I thought there was some over that way somewhere. Oh Yeah, it's like Christmas lighting up. 
So yeah, we'll be able to go get some of that. And I think that's going to be for the next video. So thanks guys for watching today. If you enjoyed my little adventure in factory making, let me know down below in the comments. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.